But yesterday in South Carolina, Trump took things about a mile further than that. He said if NATO countries don't pay more, the U.S. will break its commitment to protect them against a Russian attack. And he said he would encourage, encourage Russia to do whatever the hell they want to those countries. Here it is. NATO was busted until I came along. I said, everybody's going to pay. They said, well, if we don't pay, are you still going to protect us? I said, absolutely not. They couldn't believe the answer. One of the presidents of a big country stood up, said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay. You're delinquent. He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. Now, look, he says a lot of stuff, but that's the Republican frontrunner for the president of the United States signaling to the Kremlin that he'll give him a free hand to invade their European neighbors if he's given a second term. And as commander in chief, he would have the United States stand back and watch it happen. Let's be clear about what that would mean. Any attack on a NATO ally would trigger a massive show of force by its members across the world. That's because under Article 5, an attack on one is considered an attack on all. Just take it from the NATO Secretary General, who responded to Trump's comments with this, quote, any suggestion that allies will not defend each other undermines all of our security, including that of the U.S. and puts American and European soldiers at increased risk. And Donald Trump is not only saying he wouldn't come to the defense of a NATO ally, he's inviting Russia to attack them. I just cannot tell you how terrifying that type of type of language is for our allies sitting and hearing and listening to what he's saying. And also how happy it must make Vladimir Putin. That's more than the Kremlin could have asked for, even from Donald Trump.